Hello, my lovely Aquarius. How are you, loves? I hope everybody is well. Aquarius, welcome to your June reading. This is a monthly reading. Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. General reading, general messages. I resonate highly with you, loves. My do not. Let's see, loves, what do we have for you? How the energies are? Blessing or not? And what else we need to know in regards to this month that is there for you? Also, I am recording this video right after the full moon and the solar eclipse in Sagittarius. And it will be quite strongly built for some of you. But the point is, from this lunar eclipse till the solar eclipse in the mid-month of June, which the solar eclipse will be in the zodiac sign of Gemini, which very much speaks about karmic things, karmic energies. And this lunar eclipse, I believe the last lunar eclipse we had in 2019, which is quite a long time. But don't get scared or feel like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Sometimes, you know, there is certain things which are coming. And that very much speaks to you to take the things as they are and to not be overly, you know, reacting. And Mercury Retrograde loves. It's a good time to review certain things, to redo certain things. And might be a good time to think if it's worth it to make any moves in any projects because there will be some delays or might be some delays. If you start something new, it's the best time to do so, but after the 20th of the month. All right. Let's see. Aquarians, what do we have for you? Let's look an overarching energy here. Okay. Ten of Wands. Four of Wands. Strength. And Knight of Swords. All right, loves. It's a constant thing here. But with Ten of Wands, I see here is like the hard work gets paid off. But I feel like it's like it's way too much harder than I ever thought. It's this month it's finding you quite busy. But I feel here is on a good way. With the strength here, with Leo energy, he's like, you got this. Even if it feels hard, even if it feels like it's so much to deal with, you got this. Don't try to be, why is not moving too fast, or why is not faster, why is this, why is that. Yes, there's a little uncomfortable energy. That's why at the beginning I said, take it easy. And that's how it is. For some of you, of course, you might deal here with a fire sign this month. Or you could have fire in the chart. Let's see. Full energy right here. Devil. Nine of Swords. Empress. Seven of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. And the Sun. I feel here your effort will be paid off and your strength will be in your energy very strong. It's like things are moving slower than normal. And what I see here, Aquarius, 
you might not really want to feel this way. You might feel like it's not a big deal. But on the other side, I feel here you are very, very much thinking of. It's like the on the surface, you are not showing people or those people around you that is it's it's such a struggle or a thing but indeed it is it's like everything will be fine but to yourself is like oh again oh it's so much oh how much is this and things like that but i feel here whatever you do whatever you struggle to whatever you waiting for has a very strong meaning because these things will work for you it's like you you feel yourself like I gotta just free myself and go here I don't know how to explain here to you loves but indeed there is a thing here that other ways you can do it just this way if you want to be getting the results you want son whatever the situation you are Aquarius it's only this way and will not go faster because you know many times we want faster things they come quite the opposite so basically is get yourself as much patience because I feel here the fruits are quite be brilliant, beautiful. Whatever you struggle right now, whatever is that thing. Okay. Let's see here. Seven of Pentacles. Why it's here. It's like you work on something here and it is meant to grow this thing, but it will grow gradually, one thing at a time, one step at a time. You cannot jump to steps. And this very much speaks about a very good foundation. Also, later on, you will be happy that you have that. Whatever you're working here, whatever you want to do here, and man, you, you feel like it's it's moving like a snail paste. This is not going, this is stagnant, and is not. Actually, it is not. Might require a little bit more effort from your side. Five of cups. And eight of pentacles. That's what I'm saying here. To your surprise here. To your surprise with this tower. You might feel like, oh, how long it takes. It's so slow. But I feel here with this eight of pentacles, you indeed need to put a little bit more effort or to be more consistent. There's something here that speaks about consistency, hard work, way more work than you feel is needed it's like some extra hours but i feel here the fruits are quite beautiful with the tower look at here the star you know tower and the star you will get the things you want you might feel like you know Whatever you work on, whatever you try to do now, when you started, you you felt it's a piece of cake. Whatever project you start. You know, I had a friend the other day which told me like, you know, I started this project, but it was better to not. Because it's so hard. And it's like, I know I will finish it. But it is what it is, you know, kind of a thing. So that's for, for you, Aquarius. That's, that's the thing here. You will get, you know, 
the things you feel that they are yours with a with a tower and a star but again it's not a piece of cake it's like somebody here tries to is like well I I'll give just an example I got this house and been sold as is which was lower price and I was happy at the beginning you know like with the fool here I didn't know nothing about it. it's like well let me try it it's a piece of cake everybody can do it kind of a thing and when I start doing the thing feels like well this is not quite a piece of cake this is something more as well as somebody here who kind of like let me clean my closet and I didn't clean my closet probably for a very good amount of months and well it's not too much and when I start you know digging in the closet feels like oh my goodness there's so much in here like I put the clothes one after another one but you know could take your time but Again, you'll be happy that you've done it, you know. Whatever it is. For some of you, you could start writing a book. And this book, you feel like, you know, I get so much. Whatever project is here, is like, in the beginning, doesn't feel that much. But later on, as you go deeper and deeper and deeper, feels like, you know, this is something more and this is something more. And and with the Nine of Swords, like how long this could take, how, you know, there is a little struggle. But I feel here will be a beautiful ending with the tower and the star. I will take this two cards and we have the judgment. Now you'll feel that is not quite a piece of cake, Aquarius. I'm smiling here because somebody is like, well, that is me here. I started this project and I thought it's easy and doesn't look like. Whatever the thing is, loves. For some of you, you might feel like, you know, you, you got together here with somebody and you thought that person is the most laid back person and you feel like, well, it's quite a challenge to be with this person. That's kind of a thing. Whatever is here is a challenge. But you got this, loves. You got this. Let's see here. What's next for you, loves? Look at here. Judgment and Nine of Cups. Your wish will be granted. I feel here the universe is granting you this wish but as I said takes time if I do repeat myself sometimes know that that message is very very strong for somebody let's see here Aquarius what's next or what is the message from the universe to you in regards to whatever situation you are five of swords Whatever you do here, I feel here for some of you, of course, you could listen to others, you know, saying, oh, you know, this is easy, you can do it, we can do it, we've done this, you know. Somebody here said something and you tr you actually try it and you feel like that those people or whoever is that person said these things, they, they could lie big time. Will of Fortune, Nine of Wands, Two of Pentacles. And I feel here now you, when you hear that person who says or whoever told you certain things, is like when I'm looking at that, it's like, what are you talking about? And the thing here, with the Wheel of Fortune, now you see that 
not everything what seems very easy or what seems easy for others could be for you too. Does not mean that you cannot do it. Okay? So that's a very, very strong thing here that good things, major things, big things requires time. And you learn a lesson here. One more card here, Spirit. Yep, judgment. Here are you all loves. You learn your lesson. With the judgment, now you know. That's a here one oracle for you, Aquarian. 29, the giraffe spirit. See the big picture. And underneath we have the starfish spirit open to infinite possibility. So you got possibilities here, but I feel here there's openness to learn certain things here, which I feel here you can see it. You see clearly now. And time to let go certain things here. And transformation is beautiful. Indeed here, whatever you struggle, embrace it. That will transform you in a big time. Because whatever you can figure out, you will. And once you do, you will see way better opportunities. Also, this is a challenge here for you. It's like, I'm not sure how, how you can say that in English, but is if somebody provoke you and you got through that, you know, thing, it's kind of like, I want to show them that I can do it. But I feel here you, you could struggle in between. Because I feel here you show them, hey, it's not a big deal. But in a bigger picture, it's just like, oh my goodness. You know, could take all the time, indeed. So, Aquarius, that's what I have for you for this month of June. And if you feel this speaks to you, let me know down below. Your feedback is very much important and valuable to me. And if you really love this content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Share with whoever you feel they need to hear these messages. And this reading doesn't have an extension as normally we do in the monthly. But for those of you who are members of this channel, I will update you later on. I will keep you posted when we are will do a live and in the live, we'll have Q&As, so prepare your questions because I will try to answer as many as I can. And that could be regards who you are dealing. You'll get an answer. Love and light loves. Many blessing Aquarians. And we'll see you next time. Have an awesome month ahead. Namaste.